Welcome to San Francisco's signature site, the magnificent Golden Gate Bridge. Not only is it the symbol of San Francisco, but it is also a symbol for California and the whole of the United States. What is unknown to many is that the name Golden Gate actually refers to the opening to the San Francisco Bay and not the bridge itself. The strait became known as the Golden Gate during the Californian Gold Rush in the mid-19th century. The Gold Rush meant that hundreds of thousands of people came to San Francisco in pursuit of riches. Many came by boat and thus passed the strait when entering San Francisco. Before the bridge was built, the only route between San Francisco and Marine County to the north was by boat across the bay. The first ferry service began in the early 19th century. The planning for a bridge over the strait began 100 years later under the main architect Josef Strauss. The construction finally began on January 5, 1933. As you can probably imagine, constructing a bridge like this was no easy task. At the time, many even believed it was technically impossible to span the Golden Gate. Despite the disbelief and even defying the Great Depression, Joseph Strauss was able to find sufficient support and financial backing to go ahead with the project. The project was successful and the bridge stood completed in 1937. The price tag for the bridge landed at more than $30 million, a hefty price at the time. The bridge did not only come with a monetary cost, but also in terms of human lives, as the construction process was dangerous. Even though an innovative safety net had been installed, 11 men were killed during falls from the construction. 19 more men fell, but were saved by the net. They became proud members of the informal Halfway to Hell Club. During the opening ceremony, more than 200,000 people crossed the bridge by foot, as vehicle traffic was not allowed the first day. While Joseph Strauss was the main architect, the majority of the design was handed over to Irving Morrow, a relatively unknown residential architect. He designed the overall shape of the bridge, the lighting scheme and art deco elements such as the street lights, railing and walkways. The general belief is that the bridge is red, but that is not entirely accurate. The color of the bridge is actually an orange with a reddish hue, known as international orange. Rumors say that the color was originally to be used as a sealant for the bridge, but Morrow chose to leave it orange instead of painting it the standard grey. The orange did not only complement its surroundings well, but it also enhanced the bridge's visibility in fog. Today, the striking colour has become one of the most prominent features of the bridge and it has definitely contributed to its popularity. As you can see, the bridge is absolutely massive. Its total length is 2,737 meters, making the Golden Gate Bridge one of the largest suspension bridges in the world. The two massive towers stand almost 250 meters tall, of which 20 meters are below water. The two massive cables you can see supporting the bridge has a diameter of 90 centimeters. They are woven from more than 27,000 threads of steel with a total length that equals three times the Earth's circumference. The bridge is kept in one piece with the help of more than 1.2 million rivets. Mind-blowing figures to say the least. Today the bridge is crossed by an average of more than 100,000 cars per day and thousands of pedestrians. It can actually be quite a challenge to cross the bridge. Not only is it almost three kilometers long, but it is often quite windy. In extreme conditions, the bridge can sway several meters. 
However, you should definitely cross it if you can, as the views are amazing. If you cross the bridge, don't be surprised if you see emergency phones along the way. Sadly, the bridge is not only known for its spectacular looks. The bridge is also one of the most popular places in the whole world to commit suicide. When the bridge was completed in 1937, it was the world's longest and tallest suspension bridge. Even though it has long lost its records, it is still one of the world's most famous structures. In 1999, it was ranked fifth on the list of America's favorite architecture. It is one of the most recognized landmarks of the United States and highly regarded as the most popular and photographed bridge ever built. It is even ranked by some as one of the wonders of the world. Today, the bridge is visited by millions of people each year, just like the Golden Gate greeted the visitors of the past. The bridge of today provides a wonderful welcome to San Francisco visitors.